Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Metroid Prime. In the last video we picked up this uh, wave beam. Let's us open those purple doors. It also lets us defeat these energy based enemies. So now that we can open new doors we're going to go pick up our next upgrade. We're going after something pretty powerful that packs a punch. And we're going to start to see a new area of this map. Okay, so it seems like we're going to have a puzzle to solve here. Doesn't want to let us in there. Okay, maybe this activates it. Okay, I guess we don't use the bomb. Oh, okay. We use the charge to uh, turn the device on. Okay, I'm assuming water is going to come out of there at some point. Just going to continue to activate this until something changes. Okay, so we have those open on both sides now. And that has powered up, so I'm assuming that's going to turn the water on. And that'll allow us to uh, climb up higher. Ah, oh, mi keep missing that jump. Platforming in 3D games can be a little awkward. At least they uh, kind of figured it out by this point. Some of the early 3D games like Turok and things, trying to platform in those games was just clunky and hard to control. I feel like by the time this game came out they had kind of perfected it a little. Okay, so if you fall off a platform while the water's up, you sink down here. I don't think you can drown. We just got to kind of wait for the water to come back down. And then we'll head back up there. This time to not roll off the platform. So today's video, we're going after a pretty powerful upgrade. And then the next video after that, there's going to be another upgrade, but there's going to be a massive, massive boss fight in that video. So I hope you'll return for that one. Today's going to be a lot more puzzle solving and exploring to get to this upgrade, I think. Mind you, there will be uh, a bit of crazy fighting going on once we get closer to the upgrade. Because I forgot we'll be entering... Uh, a new area that isn't really like the Fanda Fandana Drifts. It's a little bit different. So far we've kind of seen the ice area, the lava area. Um, we've seen the ruins and the like forest tropical overworld. We're going to go somewhere a little more industrial today. And we got another energy tank, so we're starting to become a little bit stronger. It's going to be harder to kill us at this point. Which is good, because we're going to run into tougher and tougher enemies. Mind you, the boss fight we did in the last video uh, 
wasn't too tough. I feel like it was the uh, enemies we fought before the boss that were actually tougher. And they're just kind of common overworld enemies for this area. Okay, so now I need to get up to the very top. Timed sounds just, I swear they put them in to stress you out and make you panic and make mistakes. Okay, so we got a couple doors up here. This one has no power, so we can't really do anything with it. We're going to have to figure out a way to open that later. So that door opens with a missile. I'm guessing that's going to be like the save point. Alright, here we go. We're starting to run into space pirates. They're kind of the other group that is on this planet, so... Looking at some of the lore, this planet was like a tropical paradise. And then there was an impact from space that poisoned everything, killed things off. And the source of the poison was an energy source that the space pirates have come here to harvest. But they're becoming poisoned by it as well. So we got to fight them off as we run into them. They're here trying to take all the energy from the planet. But more importantly, they're just super hostile to anything that isn't themselves. Okay, so that unlocked all the doors. Yeah, so whenever we're in these kind of more industrial areas, we're going to start to run into like these um, turrets and space pirates. They're kind of like the main enemies of this uh, indoor area. There we go, just had to switch back to our wave beam to open the purple door. We will eventually be getting other um, upgrades to this gun. Obviously we saw the grapple beam in the first video. And I believe there's also an ice beam if I'm correct. Okay, so this is the Hydra Research Lab. So they're studying the Phazon energy source here. They're also studying Metroids here and the effect of the energy source on the Metroids here. So we're actually going to start to run into Metroids in this area soon. Trying to collect all the information. Recruited to 
So I don't want to stop and read these all one by one, but anything important I'll go over as we find it. I think this area just explains how they're getting poisoned by the energy source and things like that. I realize they do explain that they um, basically rebuilt Ridley and that's why the character is back in this game after us killing it in uh, Super Metroid. Because it's kind of a rebuilt version, more of like a mecha Ridley. Okay, so we gotta figure out which way we're headed to next and wipe out all these space pirates. It's cool they keep introducing tougher and tougher enemies as we go though. Make sure that we're properly powered up and uh, that we have all the necessary upgrades. Yeah, the enemies before really weren't doing much damage to us. They're starting to hit a little harder now. Okay, it doesn't seem to be a lot in here aside from enemies. Don't handle the Metroids without proper ice containment. Yeah, so they're basically studying all the Metroids here and all the effects of things on them. It's interesting, we're starting to have doors in the ceiling. I guess if it's a door in the ceiling, we consider it a hatch. Yeah, those turrets are kind of annoying. Alright, our upgrade should be pretty close by now. Of course, there's going to be more space pirates defending it. So we got to solve a puzzle in here. But we're not going to be doing any puzzle solving until we kill all these enemies. Is it just the one that fell down that's left?
right, so we've taken all them out. Now we just gotta solve the puzzle. Is making sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, so it seems like it's going to be another one of these timed puzzles. Gotta climb up to that one to activate it next. Doesn't seem to be timed though. All right, so it seems like that's where we gotta go next. Gotta activate all the things at the bottom of the hologram. All right, that's one. Seems like there's four of these to do. Luckily, they're pretty quick. Yeah, it seems to be the solar system we're currently in. And there's our upgrade that I've been looking for. So let's go climb up and get it. Been excited for this one. Okay, which way do we go to get up higher? Can we make that jump? Seem to always be questioning that in this. There's no other option, so I guess we must be able to. Definitely not like that, though. I think we got it. That's right, we got the super missile. So it'll fire five missiles at once, doing a super powerful shot. So let's go ahead and save after finding that. That's a huge upgrade for us. All right, so here's our save point. So I think that's where we're going to leave it today. So thanks for watching and come see us take on the huge boss fight in the next video. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.